Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. So I recently learned how to do some YouTube shorts. So if you have some time, please go ahead and check them out. It's only 10 seconds long where I introduce some new cool little math tricks. Alrighty guys, so also just wanted to let you know if you don't know how to get my printouts before you try the problems, go to my website at bridgemath.com print them out, and try them out before watching my solutions. Alrighty, so let's get our pencils out, thinking cap on, seatbelts fastened. Let's go for that math ride. Woo! So there's actually going to be a third bonus question after the first two. So please stick around until the very end. And I feel like the level of difficulty goes up as we go. So I hope you guys have fun along the way. So on the first one, as the hint stated, we can think of three squares that are going to equal five. And the only number that would make sense here would be a five. So if we put the 5 down here, that would equal 15 here. And if we have a 1 on the top, we can subtract the 10 minus the 1. And that would equal 9. So if you think about separating the 9 into 3 of these circles, we know that each circle has to equal 3. So in the second one, it's similar to the first one in the sense that we are asking which uh, number, three numbers would equal one here. And the only answer that would make sense here would be a seven. So if you have the three sevens here, that would equal 21. So the one down here and then carry the two up on top. And let's not forget to include the seven in the square in the middle. So once we do that, the tens digits are going to equal seven plus two and nine. So if we subtract the 17 from the nine, that's gonna equal eight. And if we separate the eight into two of these equal circles, they are going to be four and four each. Now I think the bonus challenge was the most trickiest in the sense that the squares and circles were sort of alternated with one another. So if you look at it as a whole, we need three numbers that are going to equal 240. So when we think about a number in the circle, we probably don't really want a small number below five or six. So I chose to list some numbers out that are bigger in seven, eight, and nine. And because I know for 80, if we add that three times, that's going to equal 240. I tried adding the eight for the circle first. So if I put the eight in for the circle. Now in the ones column, we need to get a zero here. So one and one would be a possible answer. But if a one went in here, the answer would be too small. So if we go up a little bit and think a little bit more creatively, we can put a six in for the squares and that would equal 20 here. So the zero here, and then carry the two up top. So if you have a six here, the total for the tens column would equal 24, 240. That checks out. I hope you guys like this problem. Please check out my shorts. It's only 10 seconds long. If you're on the go, 
If you can just smash that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Stick around for the joke of the day, and I'll see you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.